I'm going to assume that if you've clicked on this video, you know exactly what butterfly clicking is. Obviously, you take two fingers and use them on one side of your mouse to click like this. And the goal is to get as many CPS as possible. That's really good for like comboing or jitter bridging or anything like that. The first thing you're gonna wanna do to be able to butterfly click is of course the same thing as what you have to do for dry clicking, which is change your debounce time to four milliseconds. This is just so you can get those double clicks to register because of course we need these double clicks to get the high amount of CPS. Otherwise we can only get about 10 to 12 with this method. So once that's done, now you're gonna be able to get over 20 CPS. And what we wanna do from here is learn where to line it up. To click at the very back of the mouse takes a lot more effort but to click at the front is very light and easy, which is why you butterfly click at the top of the mouse. Now all you wanna to do to butterfly click is take this little indent on your finger underneath the knuckle, and that's where you wanna hit your mouse, is right here with the underside of your knuckle, if you can see that there. That should be able to help you double click. You can see this lets me double click. I can do it with either finger. And then what the whole idea is, is you're clicking your fingers alternating one, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and you wanna get that motion down until you can do it pretty fast. And here we have about 12 to 14 CPS, which is pretty normal for butterfly clicking, except once you want to start implementing double clicking, then you hang your finger with that little knuckle indent over the edge, and that's where you're going to want to be clicking. You want to be sure you're being pretty light with it, otherwise you won't get the double click. If you're clicking too hard, you're going to see I drop down about 12 CPS. So provided you're not clicking super harshly like this, this is going to limit your CPS to about 12 to 14. If you're clicking light and using your knuckle, over the edge of the mouse right on the very very end you want to use your knuckle to get those double clicks like this or using my other finger like that you want to make sure you're doing that for as many clicks as possible so now you're going to start butterfly and you're going to see 18 cps 20 we hit 20 there and we're going to keep going if i take it a little slower but make sure i'm double clicking i'm getting the same amount of cps so all this really is going to be is just coming down to practice because you can see if i click as fast as i can right here it's not crazy fast but i get 14 to 15 cps if I take it slower, but I make every click a double click, look at that, 20 CPS. That is going to be how you double click, and the uses for this obviously are PvP and bridging. The uses of butterfly clicking are very diverse. Obviously, you can do like little jitter bridges, stuff like this. Butterfly clicking for bridging is very good for jitter bridging or doing tallies like this. Obviously, that's not an insane tally. I'm still learning, but it does work for tally, and there are several Minecraft creators who are able to tally with butterfly clicking. It's just a lot harder than dry clicking. By far, the most popular way to use butterfly clicking is for PvP and getting combos, and normally I like to normal click for combos, but butterfly clicking at high CPS does work really well, so if I'm clicking high CPS on this guy here, you're gonna see he's barely able to take any knockback on me. Alright, so let's see if we can win this fight using only butterfly clicking. We have to butterfly click our hearts out right here. Butterfly click, butterfly click. Look at that combo! Wasn't an insane amount of CPS, but it still works. So let's do one more duel. Panicked. He's panicked. We don't want him in a corner to combo with butterfly clicking, though, because that is going to let him have the advantage. Circle around, butterfly clicking. GG's. Hopefully this has helped you learn how to butterfly click, and hopefully you're able to use this for stuff like bridging and PvP in the near future. More and more of my daily Minecraft sessions am I actually using butterfly clicking compared to just normal clicking. Normally when I go for PvP, I'm just doing something like this, where I'm just kind of normal clicking, but now I'm actually starting to switch to butterfly clicking because as you get more and more accurate with butterfly clicking, the more overpowered it gets. So I really do hope you guys enjoyed this one, and thank you so, so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.